This is a short video on how to add special characters to word processing documents. It's a question I see a lot, especially in tweets. So you'll see here I'm in text edit and I've typed this is a trademark. So how do I add the trademark symbol, for example? Well, I just go up under edit with most applications that you can type in uh, information typically under the edit menu you'll see special characters so you'll notice right here under special characters I have lots of different options that I can choose from so this is one way to do it so like for example here if I wanted to add in uh, the music symbol right there I could add that special character and just uh, double click on top of it and add that in or double click here and add that in you'll see them adding over here into the document so I can come up here and I can choose from all these characters and symbols and add those in but another way that's also pretty cool is that this is a trade Mark. So that's not really what I wanted to add. So I'm going to backspace and let those go. So the other thing that I can do is I can choose to come up here and I've added this. I'll show you how in a minute. This little emblem in the menu bar and I can bring up my keyboard viewer. So what the keyboard viewer does is that it lets me hold down my different keys on my Mac. My shift key for example. And you see how everything lights up and it shows me what happens when I hold down my shift key. My function key my control key and my option key or the alt key on a Mac. So there you go. There's lots of different symbols that light up with the option key. So things like registered and copyright uh, and you will see right up here trademark. So now if I left click on top of TM trademark while I'm holding down the option key, now I've got the little trademark symbol. So how did I add the keyboard viewer right there to my menu? I actually just go into system preferences right there. I go to keyboard and I check this box right there. Now I've dragged this over and so what I want to show you is that as I check and uncheck this box watch right there and you'll see that it's going to change so you'll see it changing to a flag that's actually now going to be language and text as you'll see there so what it does is it's got two emblems that it can display language and text or if I check and fill in the box checkbox then that now displays my keyboard viewer and my show character viewer which really just brings back up that same character screen that we saw at the beginning of the video so that's how you uh, do special characters and bring up your keyboard viewer so that you know what's behind your shift key and control key option key things like that on a Mac